Hi, my name is Stephanie Gong and I will be in the ensemble and also understudying Nam Soon Lee. And I had learned about comfort women from Korean comfort women in particular and their experiences as well as the adoptees that came after them when they weren't accepted after being born and the women weren't accepted after coming back home. And so that's a lot of what I experienced for the academic side, but also from stories of my grandmother on the Chinese side of the experience of what it was like to be under Japanese rule and what it was what it was like to grow up in wartime. So after joining the production, I learned a lot more about the severity of what was done to these women. I didn't realize that they were branded or they were beat so terribly to the point where they were just bleeding and almost dying. I didn't realize that they killed people on the spot just for showing the slightest bit of resistance towards being, you know, for lack of a better term, assaulted and raped every day, multiple times a day. My favorite part of this production is actually being able to work with all of these incredible Asian and Asian American actors and the creative team too. I've never been in a room with so many um, Asian and Asian American professionals and it's really been inspiring to get to know everyone and see where they came from and what their stories are and then also be able to see kind of the trajectory that they're going for and what their dreams are. The most um, challenging part of this production is definitely coming out of that world at the end of the day, especially since the time historically was just so rough on these women, just both physically, emotionally, and in a spiritual sense too. From taking that world in your head and being there for eight hours, and then after running around doing choreography, doing all of these different things, and coming out of it at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's very you know training on on the actor's physical and emotional. I want people to know that while there may not be many Asians in your audition room or coming out to do these different things, just know that there are a lot of people in this industry who are Asian and who want to work. It's just that we don't have the proper material, I guess, or the enough productions that tell the narratives that we want to tell out there right now, but it's in the works. And something about this show that's particularly special is that it's not a King and I where the white colonizer comes in to tame and sophisticate all of the, the natives. It's not a South Pacific where <laughs> the native Polynesian Islanders aren't literate or don't have like a, or they're barbaric. And it's definitely not a Miss Saigon where it's it's devastating and sad, yes, but it's not up to the Americans. My favorite number or numbers in this show are Roses and Who We Are, The Reprise, just because the music is so beautiful. And it also shows a lot of the beauty and the struggle of um, the time. Of, being in wartime and in a different place and growing and showing, you know, that things are different now and it's time to move forward and how brave all of these people who were experiencing this, especially um, the Korean women at the time, just how incredible and strong they were. It's, I think those two songs really depict um, or tell most of the story that is like, super important about the show. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching this interview. Comfort Women will be coming to the Peter J. Sharp Theater. Our previews start July 20th. I hope to see you there.